We're at about 24 miles above Kaikuk on the Kaikuk uh, River. Um, we get here by boat. This camp is brand new. Um, we just started it through Tanana Chiefs uh, for a long-term culture camp. It gives our kids a lifelong structure of where they can go and they'll teach each other how to survive and they, they'll work with each other too. This is the homeland of the people from the Kaikuk area. Sakai, Ka, Hada, Hadech, place where the children learn. Some of them haven't been able to go out camping much, so realizing that, you know, this is who you are being out here on the land and making them want to love the land and to come out and go hunting, go fishing. Just enjoy all of that. My favorite part of camp is um, fishing. I seen a camp robber and I seen a couple eagles. And frogs. And I seen frogs. Yeah. I slept in my tent. It was fun. We had a presentation about bullying and we talked to him about making good choices and not to give in to peer pressure. TCC wants to let the kids know about all the different types of bullying. There was social, which is leaving other kids out. We have the physical, which is assaults and stuff like that. Verbal, teasing, making fun of. And then cyberbullying, which is newer and want to make sure Kids know that on Facebook or any other social media is that they be nice and treat others the way they want to be treated. Yeah, it's a great group of kids here. Alaska has one of the highest fatality rates for boating accidents. Um, and a lot of those accidents are caused by um, ejection, um, capsizing or swamping the boat. Uh, we come out and we talk to a bunch of different students around Alaska. And we talk about boating safety, water safety, the importance of life jackets and also the effects that cold water has on our body, so it just helps instill uh, the importance of being safe on the water um, to the younger generations and hopefully instill more of that safety culture. Yeah. Head and the Chiefs has got these little bags and this is the start of a safety gear for you guys. So inside the bag, this is a rain poncho a survival pack, this red pouch, a heat reflective blanket, and then what's the most important thing your body needs if you don't have food? Water. 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 All right, so a water bottle. And then you have a mirror. And why do we have a reflective mirror? So, so I can take more someone. That's right, because what will the mirror do? If you're in deep trees and you see a plane flying over you, yeah. you open up the mirror and you can try to get the light to reflect it, they'll notice it and they're gonna zero in when they're searching for somebody. I've been working with Kitsu, Susan Paskvan, recently with the Dorian Languages Online Project, helping learn Danaka. And it's something that takes a lot of persistence and focus. It's good to have movement, especially with younger learners. And what we did yesterday was a version of musical chairs and it's a fun game it's a good way to keep kids engaged they um, had a scavenger hunt and they told me they wanted the Denaga names for the different um, items they were gonna search for they had already checked out the camp Well, you see the kids today were going on a hike and one of them was just walking along counting Gaelic a natik a talk a dink a don and Gaelic a. They're just having fun with their language and it helps them with their self-identity of who they are. Oh, 
Salmon. King salmon. King? I hope so. <laughs> it's a fish. My first fish. Your first oh, is it a sheep huh? We caught four pikes, two sea fish, and yeah, that's all we caught. I almost caught one, but at the end, it was just like snapped. It got away at the last second. I was just picking up fish with a net, but they were really heavy. <laughs> we were uh, fishing at JR Slough, and I caught my first fish there. <laughs> It was pretty exciting. I was fishing and I pulled in the rod and I caught into something. Then I was just letting it play around. Then it fell asleep, then I reeled it in. It felt like, just like my moment. We're gonna make fish ice cream, I think. Hopefully, I love that stuff. Then we have the young kids make their own fires, so we put them in teams. They had to gather their wood. All we gave them was the lighter when they were ready to start the fires. They learned the team that listened was the one that got their fire started first. I would like them to leave with their uh, survival skills and to know that they can make healthy choices. I would like to see those youths living a healthy lifestyle. Good job.